bit less known in the meta. He has um, got a lot of good buffs though. He's up tilt is like stronger than snakes now. And, yeah, after that down throw, that's that's a very good kill confirm that he has, and you'll probably see during this uh, the run of this set. Getting started on Pokemon Stadium 2. I like American Mario. That's one of my favorite skins, even though I hate America. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely uh, one of those skins you don't really see a lot anymore. It feels like Banjo is going to struggle a bit just because uh, if Mario chooses to play grass, it feels like it's going to be really hard for Banjo to kind of get his opening going in because he kind of wants that space to get the eggs and get the grenades going out. Mm -hmm. Like we said, not going to kill, but a lot of damage going in. Yeah, and Lisa's having some trouble. All right, nice forward throw for positioning. Seeing the grenade on ledge, but there's that down tilt. That down tilt's a menace. I, that's probably my favorite move on... Banjo can do it. It hits below the ledge. It's that, that nasty semi-spike angle. Yeah, it's really gross. It's really gross. I'm sure that'll that'll pop up in in this match a couple of times and getting these successful edge guards. And also, technically, Banjo has like snake cap uh, capacity with those grenades. Really, yeah. really useful. Not frame one, but you know, it's it's still pretty fast, and you can kind of get him out of these combos. Right, and not having to waste another Wonder Ring getting back. We see the rabbit jab here. You might see the Brigo Blaster. Just a bit, but ooh, the Great DI mix up. Yeah, yeah. Love to see that. Right now we're seeing this ooh, huge, huge charge there. That was beautiful. Yeah, it, it, you know when they put a little stank on it. That's that's how they knew. Good, uh, good stuff from Dan Listo. But this might be a quick stock from Seto if uh, if Dan Listo is unable to be. put some damage on. Right now Dan Listo, yeah, he kind of needs to fight to get some percent in because this stock is. Ooh. It's, it's on its last legs, but if Dan Listo can't play this, you know, aggressive game, but going for that fair, I don't think that was the option there. I think maybe a back air. Maybe. Just because that fair has a bit of a startup, and you know Mario has those quick, you know, out of disadvantage moves. Don't worry, they're not cheering from that for that down air, folks. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, let's go! Love Mario! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh... Good stuff from Dan Listo trying to complete an edge guard. Seto hasn't been able to get too much damage on him this stock. It's, it's kind of impressive. Yeah, he's just kind of. He's oh, a lot of out that landing. That you, was gross. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? You, you think you can land aggressively against Banjo? Yeah, right now Seto's playing a bit too aggressive into Dan Listo. And once you start doing that against Banjo, you kind of start getting chipped out a lot with these grenades, with these uh, little eggs. Yeah, the Brigo Blaster hasn't been used too much. But uh, the grenades have been used to great effects. But uh oh, hang on, look at this ladder combo. Okay, goes for the fair for the little bit of American reset. All right, the long lasting there sitting out there. Ooh, foot stooling him, but not able to make anything out of it. He's trying to cover his landing with the grenade. And Seto only taking 9%. Yeah, right now it looks like Seto kind of took that advice, so, you know, I don't always got to run in. Nah, holding forward can be really detrimental as Mario. Uh -huh. Right now he's starting to get this percentage back. Ooh, and there's that nasty down tilt again. And All he's right. kind of bringing this back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Only 37%. We still need to see him take this stock. I don't think he'll die to an up smash, but he's getting close. You know, I like that idea. Sometimes you gotta go out there, get your bread. Yeah. I don't know if that was the time, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do what you gotta do. Right now, Seto's throwing out these up smashes, getting a bit too antsy. Yeah, I love how how de defensively uh, Dan Listo is playing. All right, the dash attack, obviously, that hits him below ledge, sending Dan Listo right back off stage. Ooh. Uh, oh, I think you're trying to go for a ledge drum. Probably. With the back air. With that back throw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, 65%. This is uh, this is nothing to a good Mario combo. Definitely. Let's see if the, the ladder gets gets drawn. Oh, oh, here we go. Wait for the grenade toss up, and here we go. We're back in. Oh, no. Doing? That might be it. Yeah. Yep. Out wow. Of that's such a scary, that's such a scary turnaround. You know, as soon as those up airs are anywhere towards the side of the ledge, you can DI, uh, FDI away, but you can't go far enough to not hit that big ass fist of Mario's. That fist it caught. Wow, Seto was, Seto was playing behind like that whole game. As soon as that grenade hit, Dan Listo back. That was literally everything he needed. Way to confirm. Way yeah. To, yeah, way to confirm and make something happen uh, he under knew pressure. His, he knew his win condition, for yeah. sure. Seto gonna, gonna steal game one a bit. Let's see what we're gonna be seeing for game two. 
looks like we're taking a bit, a moment to think about that. Level players do that. Yeah, we really do need to just sit down, think what was working, what wasn't working. And for Dan Lee, though, it was, he was playing that really good mid game. He was camping out, set out, he was making sure he wasn't able to get in. And when he was able to do that, it all worked out. But the second he got in, it just, it went away. So, might have to tighten up that defensive game. Absolutely. Can't run, can't run forever. Uh, maybe being a little bit more proactive with uh, making sure the kills land. Uh, you know, maybe he was working really well with the stock stock lead, so uh, maybe he can put himself on the board early again. We'll see. Back to PS2, uh, you know, that, that's no surprise. You don't want to give uh, Mario tri flats or anything else. Uh, so. I also think uh, Banjo doesn't really get too much out of a uh, side blast zone. Maybe Town and City could be cool. Uh, I mean, for, yeah, maybe for like Wonder Wing kills. Yeah. Maybe like a couple fairs, but I think you're right. Interesting setup. That's not gonna break shield. Yeah, he's he's free. Yeah, he was shield locked there for a second. Yeah, and I didn't like that he just walked away. You know, a lot of players will be like, oh, I gotta get this punish in. Sometimes you don't gotta just reset to neutral. See what they do out of the uh, out of the state. That was a jab lock setup too. Man, that down tilt goes so far. It goes so far. It's high profiles. It's a it's a nasty move. Absolutely. Ooh, nice. Trying to capitalize off of that grenade explosion with that fair. Uh, can we talk about how powerful Banjo's fair is? Oh, it's yeah. Loki, like, I want to say same strength as Dr. Mario's, and so is with that. that Wonder Wing. Yeah, it, that lasting hurt box? Yeah. Fantastic. And yeah, yeah, like you said, that uh, Banjo fair, just once you hit that sweet spot, it just, it hurts. Oh, yeah, exactly. So only 18% on uh, this extra credit stock. Seto, ooh, getting caught uh, spot dodging a little bit much. So many of Banjo's moves are just uh, swept on. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got a, a, an enviable neutral and has a pretty good kit. It's just, uh, it can be difficult to use everything that he's got. Uh-huh. Uh, got him rolling. What I really like to see from Dan Listo is when uh, Seto is jumping, I like to see him do a little more of these up airs. That's like, it's so hard to challenge those up airs. You can kind of keep it locked for a while. Yeah, and, uh, I agree as well. I'd like to see more of the Brigo Blaster a little bit oh, more. Oh, true. Um, you know, these grenades, uh, have a much longer startup, and of course they can be held by Mario. However, he's not going to take the time to cape everything, and they bounce out for a while. True, true. But uh, Seto trying to approach the fireball himself. I like that switch up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you're saying, not, not to mention, I'm noticing we're not seeing that brutal blaster really at all. Oh, and hang on. Are we going to go for the fair? No, just yeah. go for the damage. I like it. Yeah, I like that as well. Oh, oh that out. out the jump. Nasty. You're not safe. Right, and Dan Lee's <laughs> choosing to uh, take the damage. Uh, is this, is Windows Quarters all best of three, or? Yes, until it gets to a uh, top four. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. And uh, maybe Banjo might have to respond in time with a Wonder Wing, uh, possibly a Barry, but uh, he does need to take the stock off because if you give uh, Sedo an inch, he's shown that he will take a mile. Absolutely. Seto is looking pervy right now, gets that Wonder Wing. But, you know, three left on this entire stock, so you got to be worried about yeah, it. And, and look at that. Yeah, the Brigo Blaster forcing him uh, to jump in disadvantage. Give him one to the dome. Mm -hmm. Very nicely done from uh, Dan Listo. This is an even game to me. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, look right at now, Dan Listo got a bit of movement right now. Yeah, just kind of kind of being really, uh, really. Oh, oh and the last thing hurt, I love that SDI away. That was, a, that was a nutty setup for a second. Yeah. Look at the tech the chase. Setup. All right. Probably going to grenade from ledge. Yep. Get him off of you. A good in there. Seto's looking good right now. It's trying not to give him too many openings. Yep. I got some camping for you, too. Remember, I'm the all-arounder. Anything you can do, I can do. And Loki do it better. All right. The... the Grenade not exploding. Nice. I nice like that down, down tilt. tilt. That's, yeah. that's the bait. And he draws back so far. Like, it's such a safe move. It feels yeah. Like. And even if you do it on shield, he'll, like, cross you up for a second and then move back. Mm -hmm. A great parry on that landing there. Speaking of move back, we're moving back into an even game. Okay. This, is, this could be scary. Another Wonder Ooh, Wing and that bear. Yeah. And now Mario has to get back to stage. Looks looking like that for the, uh... So please, please and Lisa's trying bro. to get this into a, into a game three. Come on, bro. All right. Looking, probably looking, looking for the, up the tilt. tilt. Oh, this is scary. doesn't get the down smash. Bro, just run up up tilt. Just snake him. Uh-oh. 
All right, Dan Lee's still off stage. Oh, oh what a ledge trump! That was gorgeous We've from Seto. We've seen him do, or attempt that once before when he got that up B. Saved it for just when he needs it. Seto taking that 2-0. Yeah, he saved that read. We'd love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> Woo yeah, yeah, that was scary. Dan Lisa was looking good there, but yeah, and that's I mean that was just really that was really well played. You know, keep a keep a trump card on you. Uh, just make sure it's not named Donald. <laughs> I don't know. So we got Seto in winner semis. I'm excited. Yeah, no, he's playing really really well. Uh, perfect. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, next up on stream, we got uh, Monty and Kai. Kai is a Sephiroth? I think it's a, uh, is it K? Yep. Yep, so Mon, is it K or is it Kai? I don't know, I've never talked to him. Never talked to him. I feel like, like it might actually be K, because E-I 